Good morning all my kids. I'm Aunt Kara and this is Aunt Kara's Storytime. Today we are going to be reading this big book, Ribbon Rescue by one of my favorite authors, Robert Munch. But first I want to say a very special hello to my friend Aura. I hope you are well and I hope you love, love, love this story. I want to show you guys something from my hat collection. I've started diving into it so you'll be seeing more of my hats. This is a hat I got, um, from a garage sale kind of thing many years ago. I believe it's from the 40s, but I'm not sure. It kind of goes on like that. But this hat is like almost 80 years old. It's pretty cool. Um, so I make sure that I keep it safe and keep it in my hat boxes. All right, let's dive in. Robert Bunches, A Ribbon Rescue. As soon as her grandmother finished making the ribbon dress, Jillian put it on and ran out into the front yard. That's so pretty. A man came running down the road. He was dressed in fancy clothes and he was yelling, I'm late, I'm lost, I'm late, I'm lost. I'm going to miss my own wedding. Wait, said Jillian, let me fix your shoes. She tore two ribbons off her dress and laced the man's shoes with them and tied them into big bows. The man said, thanks. I may be late, but I'll look fine. Well, said Jillian, why don't you take my brother Lewis's skateboard? He's grown up and doesn't use it much anymore. Just keep your eye on the church steeple and you will get there. Thank you, said the man. I'll bring it back as soon as the wedding is over. Then a lady in a fancy white dress came running by. She was yelling, I'm late, I'm lost, I'm late, I'm lost, I'm going to miss my own wedding. Well, said Jillian, at least I can fix your hair. Jillian reached up and tore eight ribbons off her dress. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then the lady bent down and Jillian fixed her hair into four enormous ponytails. And now, said Jillian, take my mother's bicycle. She's grown up and doesn't use it very much. Just keep heading for the church steeple and you will be there in no time. Oh, thank you, said the lady. I may be late, but at least I will look okay. She gave Jillian a hug and rode away on the bicycle. Then a family came running by. We're late, we're lost, we're late, we're lost. We're going to miss the wedding. We haven't even had time to wrap the presents. Well, said Jillian, I can wrap your present. And she wrapped the present with five ribbons from her dress. And the family said, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We may be late, but we will have a lovely present. And now, said Jillian, take Lindsay's wagon and Haley's scooter. They are sort of grown up and don't use them very much. Just keep heading for the church steeple and you will not get lost. They all gave Jillian a hug and raced off. Then a man came down the road yelling, I'm late, I'm lost, I'm late, I'm lost, I'm going to miss the wedding. Suddenly, he stopped and said, Oh no, it's lost. What's lost, said Jillian. The ring, the wedding ring, said the man. I've lost the ring. I'll help you find it, said Jillian. She crawled around and got quite dirty, but after a while she found the ring in a mud puddle. Look, said Jillian, you might lose it again. Let me help you. She tied the ring to the man's finger with a ribbon. And now, said Jillian, take Jeremy's skates. He has grown up and doesn't use them very much. Just keep heading for the church steeple. Thank you, said the man. I may be late, but at least I'll have the ring. Then Jillian's mother came running out of the house yelling, Jillian, we're late for a wedding and you're a mess. What will your grandmother say? She grabbed Jillian's hand and they ran down the road. But when they got to the church, the man at the door said to Jillian, what a mess. You can't come in here dressed like that. But, but, said her mother. That's okay, said Jillian. I will sit on the stairs and wait for you. 
Then the bride and groom rocked around the side of the church and saw Julian sitting on the stairs. Oh, said the groom, don't my shoes look great? Oh, said the bride, isn't my hair wonderful? Yes, said Julian. Your shoes are great and your hair is wonderful and I hope you have a wonderful wedding. Aren't you coming in, said the groom. No, said Julian. I tore off all my ribbons to fix hair, lay shoes, wrap a present, and tie a ring. Now my dress is a mess, and I can't come in. Hmm, said the groom. I think we need a flower girl. Hmm, said the bride. Yes, we definitely need a flower girl. So they picked a bunch of wildflowers from the grass, and Jillian walked into the church in front of everybody else. And even though her dress was all dirty and full of holes, everyone said she was the prettiest kid there. And that, my friends, is the end of the story. I hope you loved it. I love Robert Munch, and I'm always thrilled to read one of his books. I hope I did it justice, and I hope I will see you guys again next week for another story time. Ta-ta for now.